Hey, fellow enthusiasts, this is Tommy Lanham. And I'm Tammy. And we are on a mission to break the monotony of the mundane and the mediocre by bringing as much enthusiasm to as many businesses, ministries, marriages, and individual lives as we possibly can. Hey, if you want to know how we bring enthusiasm into our marriage, then this video is for you. Here we go. Hey guys, I talk a lot about enthusiasm, about having enthusiasm for your life, about having that, that drive, and my definition of enthusiasm, my personal definition, is a God-inspired fire ignited deep within your soul that drives you to never settle, to live with passion, and to turn the world upside down. And listen, that starts with my marriage. And beyond that, it goes to my family, my children. And beyond that, to my church and then to the world. <laughs> but it begins right here with this relationship. This relationship here is a God-ignited fire, ignited deep within my soul that drives me to never settle, to live with passion, and to turn the world upside down. So there's a fire here. There's a fire that's raging right here between the two of us. And we don't want to settle. We've been there. We've done that. We don't want it again. <laughs> it's not a fun place to be, but we see it a lot in marriages, unfortunately. We saw it in ours, and we made drastic changes to reignite that fire. We've also seen a couple of very close friendships that did not reignite and that ended up splitting up and I tell you I know that divorce is hard on the couple but I never would have thought of how hard it is on the friends yeah. and the ones watching them go through it that was hard I had I guess I came from a sheltered home and a lot of people I, I didn't know a lot of people that had gotten divorced or gone through anything like that and and a couple of best friends of ours went through that and it was hard. Yeah, our marriage being in trouble was, was hard. It's a different kind of hard, but it was still right. very, very difficult to watch your best friends go through something like that. Right. Oftentimes it happens because we become settled in our marriage. We often do things in our marriage that we never would have done in our early dating stages of our relationship because in our dating relationship the fire is blazing you know what i'm talking about and we are putting our best foot forward we're doing everything we're supposed to do we're going over the top in order to show love and care and appreciation for that person but then we get married and we get used to each other we get used to our own routines and we tend to drift apart because we just settle we live together we sleep in the same bed. We may even eat together from time to time, although sometimes even that is difficult. But we're not really married. If you find that beginning to happen in your marriage like we did in our marriage, do something about it. We took drastic measures to change that. We went to a retreat that was specifically for marriages that were in crisis. Uh, we went through counseling. We got some mentors. We went through a, a program that led us through the process of reigniting our marriage. We've made commitments that we have kept for more than four years now, and we are continuing to do those things. And some of those things we can list for you down in the description down below. Never settle. And, and, and the, the other part of that is live with passion. You know, to live with passion for each other, first and foremost, well, first and foremost for God, to have a passion for God, and then a passion for each other, a passion for our family, and a passion for life, what we're doing in the world, and, and realize those are not separate things. It's not like she goes her way and I go my way. We tried that. It stunk. It didn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> and so we bring those passions together. Now, I'm not a big believer in trying to stay balanced. 
You know, balance is like if you put your head in the freezer and your feet in the oven, you're pretty balanced, right? <laughs> but that's still not a good situation to be in. <laughs> I am into alignment, making sure that things are in alignment, making sure our marriage is in alignment with our lives. Not that we go separate ways and just happen to live under the same roof, but that we're going in the same direction. There are separate things that we do. She's got her gifts, I've got my gifts, and we use those, but we use them together, not separately because we have gotten our marriage in alignment and we're moving in the same direction in a passionate, passionate way. Hey guys, if you want to be a part of the Fellow Enthusiast community, one of the best ways to do that is to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking on the button below. I know you want to do it. Go ahead, do it now. It will ignite your enthusiasm. Come on!